All right, who's ready for a good old fashioned rant video? I know I am. Are you? Well, anyway, whether you want to or not, let's get to ranting started anyway. Welcome back to another video of the Boat Check Experience, where idiots are still always us. Always me. Always. Um, as you can see, um, I am not anywhere near anything you've ever seen on the channel. I'm actually at our local mall. Um, and I'm just kind of walking around, you know, mulling around, you know, just kind of, uh, you know, just eat up time, I guess. Um, but anyway, at the beginning I said something about a rant video, so that's pretty much what this is, is a rant video. And, uh, this video is also connected to a bunch of rant videos I did a couple of years ago about Xfinity Mobile. So, basically what this video is, is my last straw with Xfinity Mobile. And actually that last straw technically happened a week ago a week ago today so so let me tell you what all happened <clears throat> for a while now i have been wanting to lower our cell phone bill um because we've been paying like about 450 dollars a month for cell phone service and um i was just kind of you know ready to see if there was something cheaper out there and so, um, last week I was, um, kind of looking on, you know, looking around on the internet and, um, came across Verizon. Now I've had Verizon wireless before, um, but, uh, I haven't had it for a few years and I tried to get a price quote and, uh, to see if maybe they were cheaper now than what they were before and all that stuff, you know. But I couldn't get anywhere on the website. Um, and I even chatted with somebody online and they had no idea what I was trying to do. And so I was like, screw it, we'll just go to the store. So we came here, our local mall, cause there's a Verizon wireless store here. And we went in and um, we talked to a lady and um, she quoted us a price that would include everything that we have through Xfinity Mobile. like three cell phones and three iPads and everything for almost half of the price that I'm paying with Xfinity Mobile. So, okay, it was kind of a no-brainer. And, um, and my mother was with us too, because she's also on our plan. She gave the go-ahead to get new phones, because we were coming up on upgrades anyway in the next uh, month. And so instead of, you know, waiting and trying to upgrade through Xfinity Mobile because we all know how that all went last time. And if you haven't seen those videos, um, there's a playlist um, somewhere on the channel about, you know, about the rant videos and about that. And you'll, you know, if you want to watch them. Um, but anyways, um, basically what happened was uh, we always had issues with Xfinity Mobile. Uh, a couple of times we did uh, upgrade our phones with them um, so and it was always a big headache plus the closest Xfinity store is like an hour away from where we live and you know it's just a pain in the butt that anytime we needed to go to the store we had to drive mm, about an hour to get there so you know and so my mother was just like yeah let's just let's just do it and of course Sarah agreed and then I agreed, I'm like, yeah, let's do this, whatever. So we start the process, you know, we all picked out what phones we wanted and everything. And then it came down to the, the part of the process where they ask if we want to keep our numbers or get new numbers. Now we've all had our cell phone numbers for years and years and years. Sarah has had her phone number longer than we've even been married, longer than we've even been a couple, longer than we've even known each other. So we're talking over 10 years here. But anyways, um, 
And so anyway, we go to the thing and we're going to basically, you know, port our numbers over. And in order to do that, we need to get a special code from Xfinity, you know, that would enable us to do that. So we do that, we get this code and it's not working. So, you know how that goes. So we try different things. I even call Xfinity Mobile and um, oh. lo and behold, you know, they won't release our numbers. Yeah. And they're saying that we're putting in the wrong code, but we're putting in, in exactly the code that they sent us and all this stuff. So, you know, that was getting annoying. So then the Verizon lady that's helping us gets on the phone to talk to the, to the Xfinity lady. And the Xfinity lady basically told the Verizon lady that she has no idea what she's talking about, no idea what she's doing. So that infuriated the Verizon lady. That made me mad, the fact that we couldn't get our numbers because basically Xfinity Mobile was like, yeah, you're not leaving us. We're keeping your numbers so you can stay. So we made the ultimate decision as to let's just get all new numbers. So, which sucked because you know, everybody has our phone numbers and it's a major pain in the butt to update our, you know, new numbers with everything. The bank, our workplaces, you know, family, friends, you know, getting the new numbers out there, memorizing the new number, all that stuff. So it was a pain in the ass, but we just decided, you know, we're not gonna deal with Xfinity Mobile anymore. So that was the straw. That was the straw that broke my back when it came to Xfinity Mobile. So that's when I decided, you know what? You ain't getting my money no more. We're gonna do this and we're gonna just switch the horizon, get new numbers, tell Xfinity Mobile where to stick it. So, but all, you know, with all that going on, um, they got their, uh, my wife and my mother, they got their new phones. Sarah, even though I've been trying to get her to switch to an iPhone for years, she decided to stick with her Samsung, so she got the latest uh, Samsung Ultra, and uh, my mother got the exact same phone because she likes Samsung too, and uh, and all that good stuff. But for me, I decided that I was going to get the new iPhone 14 Pro Max. So, but that you could only do a pre-order for because technically they weren't out yet. As a matter of fact, like I said, this is a week later. Today's the day that the phone actually does get released. And just a little bit ago, I got the text from the Verizon lady uh, that's helping us to tell me that uh, my new phone finally arrived at the store. So I need to get my butt back down to the Verizon store so that I can uh, go and she can get that process done and started. You know, all that, you know, to, to upgrade me uh, from my iPhone 12 to the iPhone 14 Pro Max. So I'm excited about that. But uh, but since I got to do that, that means I got to pause this video for now so I can go down. That's where I'm going. Heading towards the escalator, hoping I don't get sucked in. There we go. <laughs> But anyways, I'm heading but down to the Verizon store. So I will finish this video uh, after um, after all that's done and I get the new phone. So for me, it's gonna, probably going to be about an hour <laughs> to do everything. But for you, it'll be a few seconds. So see you in a few seconds. All right, guys, I'm back. Um, it's been about an hour, hour and a half or so, give or take. For me, for you, just a couple of seconds. But anyways... Um, got the new phone and everything's all set up and everything we had a few hiccups and getting it all set up um but uh, i'm not really gonna go into that because that'll be just a long boring story the bottom line is we got it done i got my new phone i'm loving it so far um it's about time that i finally get you know a phone that i actually want um i've been wanting to get a pro max for quite a while but with xfinity when i was with them uh, anytime I went to go upgrade and everything, if it would let me upgrade, they'd never have the phone I want and um, they'd never have it in the store. And anytime I'd want to order it, oh, it's out of stock. It might take about six, seven months before you get it. So yeah, 
I am so glad I'm not with Xfinity Mobile anymore because they suck. And I'll say that now. I used to think that they were a lot better when it came to certain things, but no. Xfinity Mobile is crap when it comes to phones. Um, like I said, I was never able to upgrade. When I wanted to upgrade, there was always issues, always something. You'd call customer service, one person would say one thing, and then another customer service person would say another thing, and it was never what you wanted. Um, they could never really, you know, kind of make you happy on anything. So, so yeah, like I said, this whole thing that started a week ago was my last straw for Xfinity Mobile, and I would say that if anybody out there is thinking about switching to Xfinity Mobile, don't do it, because, um, you know, yeah, for a while, you know, you might, you know, have a good experience, but in the long run, you ain't gonna have a good experience, so. So yeah, I would not recommend Xfinity Mobile um, at all. Um, but uh, so far, I'm happy to be back on Verizon Wireless. Um, so, and that, and the lady we had down there at Verizon, um, her name's Paige. Um, if you come to the Logan Valley Mall uh, in Altoona, Pennsylvania, and you go to the Verizon store, if you want a really good customer service, uh, look for Paige. I'm not sure what her last name is, but look for Paige. So, you know, she was really nice, likes to joke around with you, and goes above and beyond to get things done. Like I said, we had some hiccups just trying to get this phone set up, and she went above and beyond to get it fixed for me, to get it done, you know, today. So, so yeah, that's my story, and I'm sticking to it. But, um, but anyway, like I said, Xfinity Mobile, no. I wouldn't recommend them at all to anybody, no. So, but with that, that kind of concludes this little rant video. Um, I'm back to kind of just walking around the mall because Sarah is getting her nails done um, somewhere else. So I just got to walk around and, you know, just kind of bide my time till she's done and she comes back. So, uh, but that's going to about do it for this video. So, uh, but anyway, as always, if you like this video, don't forget to hit that thumbs up, give, ring that notification bell so you get notified of future videos, and don't forget to subscribe. I think I said that. I don't know. My brain's kind of like all bleh right now with uh, all the stuff that's going on. Um, and of course, um, if you want to become a member of the Idiot Squad, join the channel, all that stuff, hit that join button. Like I said, we can all be, be idiots. Just become a member of the Idiot Squad, support the channel. If you want to see me make an idiot of myself more than I already do. Uh, but anyways, um, oh, and yeah, don't forget, follow me on all the major social medias. That link is down below. And, um, and also the merch store, that link is down below too if you're looking for something good. I'm hopefully going to be posting, you know, my Halloween designs and stuff uh, for the merch store here soon. Um, and... Uh, and the podcast. Don't forget uh, the Idiots Are Us, the Story of Me podcast. Season 1 is now available on Anchor, Spotify, Google Podcasts, Apple Podcasts, and Amazon Music. Hopefully sometime soon I'll get started on the second season. Um, it's been taking longer than I wanted to to get started with that. But um, there's just so much stuff going on lately that I just hadn't had time. Uh, but anyways, um, like I said, that's going to about do it for this video. Um... You get to see some weird stuff sometimes when you walk around the mall. But anyways, um, like I said, that's going to about do it. So I will see you all in the next video. I hope you're all having a good day, good night, good week, whatever the case may be. And I'll see you in the next one. So bye for now.